Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. If you're new here, my name is Catalin and I cover everything Linux, from beginner friendly distros overview to gaming performance and sometimes those little hidden gems in the Linux world you may not have heard of. And today we're looking at exactly one of those, a fresh new release of a lightweight Linux distro called 4M Linux. It just hit version 48 and while it may not be the biggest name out there like Ubuntu or Fedora, it's definitely worth a look, especially if you've got an older computer lying around or just want something super lightweight and fast. So in this video I'll explain what Forum Linux is, what's new in this latest version and why you may want to check it out. So let's break it down. Before we get into what's new, let's quickly go over what Forum Linux actually is. Forum Linux is a lightweight independent Linux distribution. That means it's not based on other popular distros like Debian, Ubuntu or Arch. The main focus here is to offer a fast, simple and efficient desktop environment, especially for older or low resource computers. It uses the JVM window manager by default. That's a super lightweight graphical interface. It won't win any design awards, but it gets the job done without hugging system resources. The name 4M Linux comes from the four main features it focuses on. Maintenance for system repair and recovery, multimedia for playing audio and video, mini server as a lightweight lamp server, and mystery for games and fun little extras. Pretty clever, right? So, if you've got an old laptop gathering dust or just love ultra minimalist setups, 4M Linux may be perfect for you. Alright, now let's talk about what's new in 4M Linux 48.0. This release comes about 4 months after version 47.0 and it brings a bunch of updates, new applications and system improvements. 4M Linux 48 includes several new apps and tools that weren't available in the previous version. Here is what's been added. Kino. This is a simple non-linear video editor design for working with IEEE 3994 DV video devices. Now, most people probably don't have a DV camera these days, but if you do, this is a neat addition. VVENC. This is an open source H266 VVC video encoder. If you've never heard of it, H266 is a newer, more efficient video compression format. Think of it like a newer version of H264 or H265. It's still early days for H.266 adoption, but it's cool to see 4M Linux including tools like this for video enthusiasts. FreeTube. This is an awesome app if you like watching YouTube but value your privacy. FreeTube lets you watch YouTube videos without ads, without tracking and without needing a Google account. Everything stays local to your machine. It's a great privacy-friendly way to browse YouTube. And Bristol. If you're into music production or just like playing around with synths, Bristol is an emulator for old-school synthesizers, electric pianos and electronics organs. A pretty fun tool to have built into a lightweight Linux distro. 4M Linux 48 also comes with updated versions of popular programs pre-installed. Here is a quick rundown. LibreOffice 25.2, one of the best free alternatives to Microsoft Office. AB World 3.0.5 a lightweight word processor. GIMP 2.10.38, the go-to free image editor. Gnumeric 1.12.59, a simple, fast spreadsheet app. Mozilla Firefox 137, the latest version of Firefox. Google Chrome 135.0, yep, Chrome is included too if you prefer that. Mozilla Thunderbird 128.9, for your email needs. Audacious 4.4.2, a lightweight music player. The VLC 3.0.21, everyone's favorite video player. SM Player 24.5.0, another lightweight media player. And Wine 10.4, for running Windows apps on Linux. So, right out of the box, you've got everything you need for basic day to day tasks, whether it's browsing the web, editing photos, watching videos, or even running some Windows programs. On the technical side, Forum Linux 48 now uses the Linux kernel 6.12 LTS. That's a long-term support kernel, which means it will get security updates and support for a good while. Why does that matter? Well, newer kernels mean better support for modern hardware, improved performance and security patches. Even if you're running this on an old hardware, 
having an updated kernel is always a good thing. It also comes with MESA 24.3.3, which is the graphics stack that powers open source drivers for Intel, AMD and some Nvidia cards. This means better graphics performance and compatibility for things like games and video playback. Now for those of you who like to set up servers or experiment with hosting your own website or apps, Forum Linux also has a server edition called Forum Server. In version 48, Forum Server has been updated too. It lets you quickly set up a LAMP server, that's Linux, Apache, MariaDB and PHP. Basically everything you need to run a website or a small web application for your own computer. They've also updated a bunch of server tools like BusyBox 1.36.1, Perl 5.40.0, Python 3.13.1 and 2.7.18 and Ruby 3.4.1. So even if you're setting up an old laptop or a Raspberry Pi, you've got a surprisingly capable little server system right out of the box. Alright, so should you drop everything and switch to Forum Linux? Well, it depends. If you're using a modern computer for heavy tasks like gaming, video editing or software development, you'll probably want something bigger like Fedora, PapOS or Nobar. But if you've got an old PC lying around or if you just love lightweight, non-nonsense Linux distros that get the job done, Forum Linux 48 is a fun one to try out. I love seeing small distros like this keeping things fresh, adding new apps like FreeTube and VVNC, and staying current with updated software and kernel versions. It's proof that you don't need a 4 gigabit ISO to have a complete and capable Linux system. And that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Linux content just like this. Also, if you've tried Forum Linux before or you plan to give this new version a shot, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.